So after I painted Little Lamb, I decided that I wanted to do some more historical research into the shepherds. And I came across the work of Alfred Eidersheim, who was a Jew that converted to Christianity during the 19th century. And it was so beautiful because he takes his, his knowledge of, of the, the Jewish people and applies it to the New Testament. And one of the things he discussed was that these shepherds actually tended flocks from which they would draw sacrificial lambs to be used in the temple. And uh, reading that, I was thinking, oh, these must have been like holy shepherds because they tended like temple sheep. And, and, uh, and that was the concept that I took as I like went into this painting. And then it's kind of beautiful how paintings teach me and how I feel God leads me as I'm painting them. And some questions started to come into my mind as I read the account in Luke because they were sore afraid. And I was thinking, oh, that's interesting. Like, hmm, maybe they, maybe they were prepared for a holy encounter, but maybe they weren't because they were sore afraid. Then during this, this time, I also got up one night to use the bathroom. And I walked into my bathroom and there was a man in there. And you know what I did? I mean, I'd like to think, I'm a ninja. I'm a strong girl. I would have like taken that fool out. No, I didn't. I went like this. <laughs> Like I, I cowered like a small child and crying next to my bathtub. And then the man puts a hand on my shoulder and it's my husband. And it was just dark. So I couldn't tell who it was. And it's like two in the morning. Like what are the odds that we'd be up at the same time? Uh, anyways, because of that experience, it influenced this painting, this man crouching here like this. This is basically me at two in the morning in my bathroom because I was sore afraid. And then um, as I pondered it more, I thought, well, what if there was like a variety of spiritual preparation for an angelic encounter? And so I created this composition where you have this guy who's absolutely terrified and perhaps his brother who's like, oh my gosh, my dad was right. And then the, the patriarch who has waited his whole life for the birth of the Messiah. And um, it also was a, a beautiful example to me because whether they were prepared in the moment or not, they were all extended the invitation. And so this painting is called The Shepherd's Invitation. And the concept is that no matter where you are in your levels of spirituality, when God extends you an invitation, if you accept that invitation, he makes you ready in the going because they went and they witnessed the birth of the Savior, the God, God prepared them as they went. And then what did they do afterwards? They became missionaries and they went and they shared the good news that the Messiah had been born. And I think so many times in my life, God has extended invitations to me that I did not in any way feel prepared for, but that as you go forward in faith, he makes you ready in the going.